We've hooked up a condenser microphone to the Schwemann AP1 audio processor. An interesting feature of this module is the envelope follower, which extracts the amplitude of a signal to a DC signal for CV control of the optocompressor. In this patch example, the signal being amplified and followed is the condenser microphone. Now, perhaps a less conventional use of the envelope follower is to uh, control the clock rate of the RG6. So we've plugged the envelope follower into the clock rate CV, and you'll see that the RG6 right now is generating a steady stream of clocks, and it's being clocked by the internal clock. And the clock is being routed to the ping of the fourth channel of a 4MS quad pingable LFO. And you'll see that every time the gate signals, the LFO is pinging. Now, if I'm to blow into the microphone, the amplitude range of my breath is enough to generate a rapid gate burst from the RG6 module. And I'll show you what that looks like. Now the envelope on the AP1 can be used to control uh, the shape of the gate burst. Another interesting feature uh, of the envelope follower is if you plug it into a comparator. So we've taken the AP1's envelope follower and plugged it into the stg.com and then from the .com we'll plug it into the first channel of the quad pingable LFO. Now when I set the threshold at a certain level, the transients for my voice or the microphone will be used to ping the LFO. And here's what that looks like. Test, 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 test. And the envelope can be used to control the shape of that. Here's another example.